Well, that was easy to clean up. I'm going to put that extra dirt there. I think I'm going to stop the piling and piling up in my garden. Uh, so I think with the box blade, when it's time to spread, to equalize everything, uh, I'm going to be have enough to fill out my sink own. Still, there's plenty of roots at the surface. Uh, they look like nothing, but those small roots are very strong. And when I get the uh, roots stuck in the bucket, I can cannot leave the bucket. So I have to kind of break the roots. a slow process at the beginning I was thinking of doing half of the swale on one side with the tooth bar and the other half without the tooth bar but uh, as I go I went as I went I changed my mind because I trying to keep the whole thing sort of clean clean up the mess as I go so I'm gonna change I'm gonna do try to do uh, both sides with the tooth bar on it and the other half of the swale uh, without the tooth bar and we'll see we'll see which one is easiest Well, a lot of roots, plenty of roots. If it was nice, open ground without roots, it would be much easier.
I think I did the most half of it using the tooth bound. There's still a lot of work to do, a lot of cleaning up. But with the bug's blade, that seemed to be to be spreading it uh, quite evenly. So right now I don't know if it's the proper grade, proper grade for draining, but seems to be leaning that way. So now we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna switch, remove the tooth bar and uh, we'll proceed to do the remaining without the tooth bar and see if we're having more or less problems. Like I said, if it was not for all the roots, the surface roots, right under the sod or within the sod that will be much easier much much easier okay now we remove the tooth bar we are with the plain bucket let's see if we can uh, see or feel a difference First impression, first impression, I don't know, maybe because the ground has always been softer in that corner, or maybe the roots are not that big, I know, oh I'm getting better using the bucket, seems to me, uh, seems to be digging easier with the plain bucket, anyway we continue. I'm gonna go and dump that uh, load of dirt and then come back.
okay I think the main the main uh, swale has been uh, successfully digged up I still have a lot of cleaning to do but the main trail the main uh, channel is dug up what I have noticed is uh, the part where I had the toolbar were much drier than the second part without the toolbar which is very muddy compared to the first first part of the sway. I don't know if that is the reason why the plain bucket seems to be doing a better job I, I, cutting uh, through the sod or it's just me who's trying to uh, to find a reason to justify the $500 the tooth bar cost and uh, anyway uh, conclusions well it's hard to say uh, maybe it's me who gain more experience uh, driving the bucket and thus uh, was seeming to be easier Maybe it was the ground which is uh, wetter in, in the second part which made it easier to slice with the, the plain bucket. I don't know. But uh, still I have a lot of cleaning to do. No, I have other things to do for the rest of the day. And uh, probably it's going to be raining the next two days so it's going to be too muddy to walk. So I'm going to wait until it dries up a bit and finish cleaning up. Probably I'm going to need to manually use the rake to uh, make everything nice. But so far, so far I think, I think everything is good. We'll see with the big rain if uh, it's draining properly or we'll show the place where there's water puddles. Anyway, so far uh, I'm pretty pleased with the results, pretty pleased with the results, still a lot of work to do. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is the result. I just finished uh, smoothing everything with the bucket by backing up and putting the bucket uh, almost all the way up but touching the ground and that seemed to have smooth, make a rather smooth transition. I'm pretty happy with that. So I don't know if you can see. Uh, the swale, the swale is, uh, I'm very satisfied with it. Of course I will see uh, when we have big rain or effective it is. I still have a lot of roots to pick up and branches. Sorry about the bikes. I live in a very well used road. So this is where it goes. I still have to do the end, but for that I will need to install the backhoe on the tractor so I, in order to go and dig over there. Here I might have to come back and retouch that because I believe it is too steep uh, for the lawn mowing although I will, I will try uh, before I redo the, the slope because there's a lot of roots there, there's a big humongous maple tree there So I filled out the sinkhole. I still have to spread that, spread that nicely, and I still have to dig that way, and that will go into the ditch. But I will need a backhoe for that, as it is on the property limit. So that's what it is. As for the 
plein de boquettes versus de tout de bord, de piranha tout de bord. Uh, I will say that the, the tout de bord was easiest to slice through the difficult stuff. The first half has did here. There's a lot of roots there. And I was able to slice through the roots much easily with the tooth bar and without the tooth bar. The second section here, there's not as many roots and the ground was uh, wetter than in, than in the first section. So without the tooth bar, the plain bucket did a good job too, a very good job. And uh, and the smoothing went well. So, uh, as a conclusion, I will say that the tooth bar versus the plain bucket, and for digging a swale, I, uh, I must admit that I could have done it without the tooth bar with the plain bucket. And uh, anyway. I know uh, I would like to say uh, the tooth bar was uh, night and day and that was worth the $500 it cost me <laughs> but uh, I cannot say that at least in the short project the little project I did I will need to make uh, other project to measure the efficiency of the tooth bar versus the plain bucket so that was my project and i'm pretty pleased with it pretty pleased with it uh, it was a lot of fun so thank you for watching bye bye and come back